I blow fan a dribble, I drip fan a drizzle, I splash and a sprinkle on my Chinese submarine. I blow and I crow, just can't stay low, I sing fast, swim slow, I'm a Chinese submarine. If Chinese submarines could introduce themselves, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, if Chinese submarines could introduce themselves with a song, this would have been it. Because they have a habit of getting caught and mostly it's because they're super noisy. Japan is the latest country to finally expose China's supposed stealth submarine this time. I know it's this is TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Atul Mishra. And in this video, I will tell you how Japan caught noisy Chinese submarines red-handed. Let's begin. The myth of the Chinese military might stands exposed again, this time in a brief encounter with Japan. On Sunday, the Japanese Defense Ministry reported that a submarine believed to be from China was spotted just outside Japan's territorial waters near its southern islands. As per the Japanese Defense Ministry, Japan's Navy identified a submarine sailing northwest just outside territorial waters near Amami Oshima Island, part of Kagoshima Prefecture on Friday. A Chinese destroyer was also spotted in the vicinity and therefore it is almost clear that the submarine identified by the Japanese Navy was a Chinese submarine. The main function of a submarine is to sail underwater and avoid getting detected by the adversary for the purpose of espionage in peacetime and offensive operations in water. Now if your submarine gets identified as easily as Japan identified a China submarine, then the whole purpose of operating a submarine gets defeated because the element of stealth itself is lost. Meanwhile, a red-faced Beijing has decided to stay silent. Reuters reported that the Chinese Defense Ministry did not respond to a request for comment immediately and even the Chinese embassy officials could not immediately be reached for comments on Sunday. The Japanese Defense Ministry statement released on Sunday disclosed that the Chinese vessels were identified in Japan's contiguous zone, which is outside the territorial waters of a country, but where vessels are still required to identify themselves. Having caught China red-handed, Tokyo is getting more vigilant now. Japan's Defense Minister Nobuo Kishi reportedly asked his staff to gather information and maintain vigilance surveillance with a sense of urgency. Even last month, China's vulnerabilities were exposed when the UK's carrier strike group consisting of the HMS Queen Elizabeth aircraft carrier, two frigates and submarines was able to catch at least two Chinese submarines spying on the British vessels red-handed. The Chinese submarines and the crew aboard were caught completely unaware and left embarrassed. As a result, China's naval might was exposed before the entire world. As it turns out, the UK's carrier strike group could pinpoint and locate the Chinese submarines because China's rustic and pathetic little underwater boats were too noisy. The Daily Express reported that sonar operations on board HMS Kent and HMS Richmond, two frigates that form part of HMS Queen Elizabeth's escort fleet, detected a pair of PLA Navy Type 093 7000-ton Shang-class submarines which are armed with cruise missiles, shadowing the carrier group from the South China Sea into the Western Pacific. Operators on board the frigates, which were working together in a sweep pattern, located the Chinese stealth vessels within six hours of leaving the South China Sea. While China keeps intruding on Japanese territorial waters with pathetic and outdated naval assets, Japan is making rapid progress in its submarine warfare with the communist nation. Japan builds one attack submarine every year with a 22 submarine force size goal. It retires every submarine after 22 years in order to stay in sync with the latest technology and if Japan starts retiring every submarine after 30 years like the US, it could inflate its submarine size to 30. Japan's submarine size is indeed sufficient to tackle all threats in the East China Sea where Chinese ships often intrude into Japanese waters near the Senkaku Islands. In submarine warfare, Japan is a respected player across Asia. Even US military anti-submarine warfare operators find it hard to identify and track Japan's super silent non-nuclear submarines. China wouldn't even get to know if Japanese submarines start intruding its territorial waters during a military conflict, whereas Chinese submarines get caught outside the territorial waters itself. China may be the largest navy in the world with around 350 ships and submarines. 
yet no one fears it and despite being accorded special shooting powers earlier this year, the Chinese warships and Coast Guard vessels seem quite harmless. At the end of the day, there is certainly a big difference between the biggest and the most powerful. China operates outdated technology and is hardly capable of taking on Japan if push comes to shove.